Hey guys, Strifter here. Today I've got a video for you on how to update your SCUF controller. This is the new SCUF Vantage Cosmic Collection, which is nice and beautiful. And I use SCUF controllers here at home, kind of like this one with my name and logo on it, primarily for the benefit of the side bumpers and the extra paddle buttons on the back so I don't have to take my hands off the thumbsticks. But if you got a launch edition SCUF Vantage controller like this one, which is currently on version 0.6, you may have been unfortunate enough to be in a group of people that had thumbstick drifting and Bluetooth connectivity issues. If you are having those problems, hopefully today's tutorial can solve those. And we are going to be upgrading this bad girl to version 1.1 and installing the PC driver. Step one is that you need to connect the controller to the PC via a USB cable. Every controller comes with one of these, so you should have one. But if not, USB mini will work just fine. We're going to go ahead and plug that one in. There we go. And you'll want to plug the other end directly into your PC. It can be USB 2.0 or 3.0, doesn't matter. Now that you've got it plugged in and recognized by your PC, you need to go to the link that I have put down there below in the description, which is a link to the Scuff Vantage firmware update program. It's available for free on their website. Right now we're on 1.0 if you're watching this in the future. You can click download now. You can also browse their older firmware, which I don't know why you would want to do that. Let's go ahead and run the firmware. And here we are. Scuff Vantage update to version 1.1. It, it addresses thumbstick responsiveness and Bluetooth performance, which are the two biggest issues. So let's go ahead and hit begin. Uh, prepare the PC. Yes, continue. Uh, it looks like it has already detected the controller. Press down to make sure they're secured. Slide the rings on. Uh, make sure it's in wired mode and tighten the hair triggers. Okay, we should be good to go on all of that. So let's go ahead and hit continue and see what it does. There we go. Detecting, detecting, detecting. It's being a detective. It'll make a few clicking noises, but that's just, that's the update occurring. All right. Wife is going to move in over my shoulder and film because what it's going to do is take just a minute or two to install the update. You'll see in the bottom right hand corner the percentage and in a few moments it's going to ask me to calibrate the sticks and actually do something here that is beneficial to you guys so we'll just give it a moment and now we're verifying the update oh we're at 100 percent what is our final step today thumbstick calibration time you'll see my wife stepping in from the right hand side to film this so i'll go ahead and move this over so that we can do the thumbsticks Let's go ahead and start thumbstick calibration. It says first, you don't move the thumbstick, so that's easy, I can do nothing. Start rotating thumbsticks. So we rotate them like this. This will be the way. You gotta follow these instructions. Just start rotating them for a few seconds to calibrate. And as soon as you see the red slashes and circles, just stop moving them, just leave them be, let them snap back to center. It's now recentering the thumbsticks. And one more time. Apparently it didn't like that data. Apparently my movements must not have been very still. So I'm going to go ahead and do this again. All right, start rotating. Fast as I can, stopped. And hopefully these movements were uh, smooth enough to get a good calibration going on. Let's see what they do. It does like to click a lot. That's a real fact. Update complete. Your controller has been updated to version 1.1 and your thumbsticks have been calibrated. So now this scuff Vantage is updated to version 1.1, which in this case fixed the thumbstick drifting and the Bluetooth connectivity problems, but it's not yet PC ready. There's a different update for that one. So to install the PC driver, all you do is the exact same thing we just did again, but with a different link that installs the specific PC driver. It's an extraordinarily simple process and just walks you right through it. And when that's done, you can use your scuff controller on PC for any games that you want. And the paddles and the side bumpers and everything will work fine too. So at the end of all of that, our old Launch Edition Scuff Vantage is now updated to version 1.1 and is identical to the current versions available, and it should alleviate all of the problems that you've had with the controller if you were in that unfortunate group. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something useful. I hope that some of you improve your products. Obviously, it was sponsored by Scuff Gaming. I've been with them since the beginning of forever, 
and reaching, can't even see what I'm looking at. Uh, I do have my own controller. If you're interested in the Drifter Scuff controller or anything about them, there's links down there below in the description with discount codes, of course. Drifter out.